Hey everyone, Chef Noel here, and welcome back to my home in Miami, Florida. You're in my kitchen, obviously, and we're here to bring you another recipe. Sorry I've been gone for so long. I've been traveling for work, but I'm here for you guys right now to bring you guys another recipe. So today we're gonna be working on is some braised short ribs. So for today's video, here's what you're gonna need at home. Short ribs, about three to five pounds. Carrots, a handful. Celery, a handful as well. Onion, just one onion. Garlic, a couple of cloves. Thyme, a bunch of thyme, you know, a handful. Same goes for rosemary, a bunch of rosemary. A couple of bay leaves. Tomato paste. Now we want our seasonings. You're gonna need steak seasoning. The dynamic duo of onion powder and garlic powder, my favorites. And ever so trusting salt and pepper. But you also would need beef stock, let's say about four cups plus more, red wine, two cups, and maybe a cup for yourself. And you also need some cornstarch and butter, but that's for later on. Also, what you want on hand is a chef knife, your tongs, a spatula, a whisk, and a garlic press, you know. And last but not least, in this lovely new Dutch oven I got on Amazon. So, Let's get started. So right now we're going to do the boring stuff, which is chop up some vegetables, our celery, our carrots, and our onion, and we're gonna make our mirepoix mixture. And mirepoix often knows a holy trinity in cooking, and basically it's your foundation of all that, your, your stocks, your soups, your sauces, you basically use your mirepoix. But in this case, when we do the braised short rib, it's gonna add a little extra flavor, a more foundation to our dish. Grab our chef knife, start chopping it up. Do like a rough cut, nothing too crazy. You don't gotta be perfect. And we're gonna do our onion and celery next. Oh. Cool, so after we're done with that, we can put our rip pop mixture to the side. We won't need it for a little bit. So for our next step, we're gonna season our short rib. So we're gonna grab our bowl, grab our short rib, and we'll add it to the bowl like so. And then grab our steak seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, and our salt and pepper. Add our steak seasoning like so. Onion powder, our onion powder, garlic powder, last salt and pepper. Make sure you get all the seasoning in there. Over here we season our meat, so you know. Just mix it just like that, y'all. So as we were seasoning our meat, we have a Dutch oven right now on the stove top, getting heated up. So we're gonna take the meat over and start searing these bad boys. Add the oil to the pot, like so. Let's get it. Get a nice brown sear all over. Look at that. Add that to the bowl, just like that. Mix it a little bit. Like that. Garlic, if you mix it with a garlic press, a little tomato paste. In the garlic, add a thyme, rosemary, bay, and saute it up. So we're going to glaze the pot now by adding our wine. All right, so everything's looking good right there. So, just try to push things to the side. It's okay. Some broth right now. And if you have more, add some more too. So we just saw that we just finished searing our meats. We added our vegetables, our mirepoix mixture, our herbs, you know, bay leaves, rosemary, thyme, garlic, tomato paste. 
and we finish it off with our liquids. So now, after doing all of that, we have it in the pot and we're gonna put it in the oven. So basically, this, this technique we're doing is braising. It's a combination of roasting and steaming, so it's gonna cook within the stove using the Dutch oven and actually in the actual oven. So we don't gotta, we don't gotta worry about it on the stove top. We're gonna put it in there for like two hours, two and a half hours, to make sure it's all the bone tender, you know? So we're gonna grab our foil real quick, cover this bad boy up. Right there, perfect. So right now we're gonna put this in the oven for 450 degrees. If you have a convection setting at home, please use that. Um, I don't, unfortunately for me, I don't have that luxury, so we're just using a regular oven. So we can put in the, we're gonna put it in there and forget about it. See you in hour 30. I get some wine, but I'm thirsty. <laughs> hey, good to see you guys back. It's been over an hour and 30 minutes now. Let's check on our short ribs. So while that was cooking, I had a glass of wine. I had a glass of wine. Cleaned up around the crib. Nothing too, nothing too crazy. While this is cooking, so let's check it out. Woo! All right, y'all. So you see right here how the short rib is so tender. It's falling off the bone. Some of it's falling off the bone, but not all of it. So we're gonna put it back in the oven for another 30 minutes and we'll forget about it, drink some more wine, sit back and relax until it finishes cooking off. So yes, let's cover this back up. And then we'll come back to this. So see you in a few. Alright y'all, I know I said 30 minutes, but you know what I felt? I wanted the meat to be extra tender, so I put it in there for another hour. So overall, the time for this is basically two hours and 30 minutes in the oven. So let's check it out and see our finished product. Well, not the finished product, but our meat. Let's see, ooh. So what we're gonna do now is we'll make our sauce for the short rib. So right now we're gonna take our meat, we're gonna put it in the bowl and set it aside, and then we're gonna make our sauce with what's, what's in the pot. So right now we got our little strainer, and we're just gonna get all this gunk out of there. And put it in this bowl. So we're gonna make our sauce real quick. We're gonna put this pot back on the stove, heat it up, and then we're gonna make our cornstarch slurry, which is two, it's two to one ratio. Two tablespoons of water to one tablespoon of cornstarch. We're gonna mix it up, add it to the pot, and then get it activated. So we thicken up the sauce, bring it together, add some butter, add some wine, and then we'll serve it up. Obviously, so we're gonna add our cornstarch right here. Add it right into the mixture. Also, we're gonna add a splash of wine. Our sauce is simmering right now. We're gonna finish this off, add our butter. So we should be good to go, you guys. So let's take it back to the front. Right, so we're gonna do the final step in our dish. We're gonna plate it up so our meat's cooked, our sauce is ready, so let's finish this up. So we got our sauce right here, we got our bowl right here, and our meat right here. We're gonna grab our meat and we're gonna add it right into this bowl. All right, now, so we're gonna add our sauce right into our platter. And for the sauce as well, also you can season it with salt and pepper after for taste, but for this go around, I expect the season is pretty good, so it's not needed. Now we're making this plate look sexy, y'all. Look at that. All right, so we'll put this over to the side. And finish plating this dish. So we add our, our herb, add some right here. Some herbs and our microgreens. Serve and enjoy. If this video has helped you out today, press that like, smash the subscribe, and follow this channel. And you can also follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Chef Arnold underscore the real MVP. And you can also check out my website at www.milkvictory.com. Also in the description, you will have all the equipment that I use for today's recipe, which is the Dutch oven, also as well as spatulas, you know, tongs, stuff like that. So for you guys you need to get and you have in your own kitchen. This is my first video for 2023, so hopefully it's a good one for you guys. Um, I definitely want to plan on doing some more videos this year, of course, maybe twice a month, but it just depends on my schedule. You know, I like gets me private chef stuff, you know. 
Anyways, you guys have a lovely day, playful day actually, and pieces. I'm out. I eat this. All right.